installing a, mo a modem on a pre-attached machine. First, you open the door, install your service key, remove the CPU cover, This cover, you'll need to use a cutter in order to cut a notch to accommodate the wire of the modem. I got one panel here, already pre-cut, that we're going to install later on. Now, with your service key on, you. Take an empty USB stick that you put on the USB port, on the CPU port. Then you go in the menu and you do a backup. That's going to be item import export 774. And you export your file. Select, continue, the backup exporting succeeded, you eject your USB stick, then you remove from the USB port. You put aside your USB stick, we'll use it later on. Now you turn the machine off. And we proceed with the physical install of the modem. So, that is door, turn the machine around. There's a small door that you need to remove at the bottom in order to feed the wires of the antenna. That's the plate we put aside. Then you use both antennas. And you'll see at the bottom left of the machine, there is a few opening. There's another cap that you need to remove here. that you can remove and discard. So at the bottom you'll see three openings. You'll take the top one, that's kind of a square shaped, U-shaped opening, and you just feed the two wires of the antennas through the whole machine. They will come on the opposite side the channel that goes and run across the, uh, the whole unit. Once you get that through, turn the machine around again. Open it, and you will get the two wires. Just pull slightly on the wires to be able to connect to the modem later on. Then you need to connect this harness with a USB port onto the CPU board. So you got the white connector that connects to the top left. Then you got the power cable that connects. to the top right. So the notch that we created on the CPU uh, protector plate is to be able to feed the cable outside of this. Then you got the modem. Modem comes with always an activation key 
and an asset number because on the Korea touch and the Wittenberg the use of the serial number uh, is useless so we need the activation key and the asset number on the modem so with that of course you got to connect the modem and then you connect the modem to the USB extender here just stick it inside like this for now and then you connect both antennas on the motor. Like this, then you put the most of the cable on the inside of the CPU board. Just to have some loose on the inside where you can mount the motor. Once we get the modem hooked up inside, then we go with the system key. Then you stick it onto the USB port on the board and you power up the machine. Update key detected, the machine will install the system on the machine. This step will take a few minutes. So when the install of the system key is done, it's going to show install installation uh, successful. So let's remove the USB stick. That's restarting. While it's in restart, you can turn the machine off. Install the add key on the USB port. Then you turn the machine back on. So now it updates the, uh, the system. So when the install is done, the machine will beep. It's going to prompt update successful, remove the USB stick. So now you can remove the USB stick and the machine will restart. And now you got to select the configuration group. You go by the default, just scroll down until you hit USA and hit next. And it's going to bring back the default configuration. So you just finalize the install. And of course, the machine will redo its booting sequence. So the machine will reheat. You just wait for the, uh, the whole process. And once done, we will restore the machine. So once you're back at the home section screen, insert your backup USB stick. We'll go back to the service menu, item number 7.4. Import, export, 7.4. Backup. You click on import your last backup. Click OK, and this will take a few minutes. Do you want to load NAS configuration group? Yes. Reset maintenance scatter, reset everything. No, apply default, open. Now we need to install 
the modem and they enable the wireless. So again, you go on a service mode. You go to 8.6.5. System, network, Sophia 3G network, really important. And you activate it if there's no check mark. Then you go to 8.6.6 system network Sophia settings. Enable Sophia, make sure that there's a check mark there. Now that we've done that, can get out. Turn the machine off. Remove the USB stick. And reboot the machine. So before activating the touchless, we need to know if the modem do connect to the network. So you go back to 865. And check the status of the modem here. Once you got the modem connected, then you go and activate the touchless solution by going to item number 11, 11.1, 11.11, where you put your check mark to enable the app, then you hit save. And the last thing you need to do is to go to item number 11.1.2 and put a check mark next to which recipes you want to be or to go touchless. Once you've done that, you're all set.